Imagine being the King of England and Normandy, ruling over a vast empire, having a powerful army, and enjoying a lavish lifestyle. Now imagine dying because of eating too many lampreys, a type of eel-like fish. That is the story of Henry the Furs, the fourth son of William the Conqueror, who became one of the most successful medieval monarchs, but also one of the most gluttonous. In this documentary, we will explore the life and death of Henry the Fur, the king who loved eating so much that he died of digestive complications. Henry was born in 1068, the youngest of four sons of William the Conqueror, the Norman king who invaded and conquered England in 1066. Henry was educated in Latin and the liberal arts and earned the nickname Beauclerc, meaning good scholar. He had little chance of inheriting any land, as his elder brothers Robert, Richard, and William were ahead of him in the line of succession. However, fate had other plans for Henry. In 1075, Richard died in a hunting accident, leaving only three sons. In 1087, William the Conqueror died, dividing his domains between Robert and William. Robert became the Duke of Normandy, while William became the King of England known as William II, or Rufus. Henry was left with nothing but a small sum of money and the hope of acquiring some lands in Normandy. Henry spent the next decade trying to gain a foothold in Normandy, often clashing with his brothers Robert and William, who were also rivals. In 1100, Henry's fortunes changed dramatically. William II was killed by an arrow while hunting in the New Forest, and Henry seized the opportunity to claim the English throne. He rushed to Westminster Abbey and was crowned king on August 5, 1100, three days after his brother's death. He issued a Charter of Liberties, promising to reform the abuses of his predecessor and to respect the rights of the Church and the nobles. He also married Matilda of Scotland, a descendant of the old Anglo-Saxon kings, to gain the support of the English people. Henry faced a challenge from his brother Robert, who invaded England in 1101 with the backing of some dissatisfied barons. Henry managed to negotiate a peace treaty with Robert, confirming his kingship in exchange for an annual payment and some lands in Normandy. Henry was not satisfied with being the King of England, he wanted to reunite the domains of his father and become the Duke of Normandy as well. He waited for the right moment to attack his brother Robert, who was a weak and careless ruler. In 1105, Henry invaded Normandy and won a series of battles against Robert and his allies. In 1106, he captured Robert at the Battle of Tinchebray and imprisoned him for the rest of his life. Henry became the undisputed master of Normandy and England and extended his influence over Wales, Scotland, and parts of France. He faced several rebellions and wars during his reign, but he was able to suppress them with his military and diplomatic skills. He also reformed the administration and the justice system, creating a strong and efficient government. He established the Royal Exchequer, a central treasury that collected and managed the revenues of the crown. He appointed itinerant justices who traveled around the country to enforce the law and settle disputes. He also issued a new coinage, the silver penny, which became the standard currency of England and Normandy. Henry was a successful and powerful ruler, but he also had a fatal flaw. He loved eating too much, he was fond of rich and exotic foods, especially lampreys, a type of eel-like fish that was considered a delicacy in medieval times. Lampreys were also known to be dangerous, as they could cause indigestion and poisoning, if not cooked properly. Henry ignored the warnings of his physicians, who advised him to avoid lampreys and to follow a more moderate diet. He continued to indulge in his favorite food even when he was ill. In November 1135, Henry was in Normandy, celebrating the wedding of his grandson. He fell sick after eating a large quantity of lampreys and his condition worsened over the next week. He died on December 1st, 1135, 
at the age of 67 from what was probably a severe case of food poisoning. His death was a shock to his subjects who mourned the loss of their king. He was buried at Reading Abbey, the monastery that he had founded in England. Henry the Eye was one of the greatest kings of England and Normandy who expanded and consolidated his empire, reformed and strengthened his government, and fostered a cultural and intellectual revival. He was also the father of two legitimate children, Matilda and William, and at least 20 illegitimate children who became influential figures in their own right. He had planned to pass his throne to his only son, William, but William died in a shipwreck in 1120, leaving Henry without a male heir. He then designated his daughter Matilda as his successor and forced his barons to swear allegiance to her. However, after his death, his nephew, Stephen of Blois, usurped the throne, sparking a civil war that lasted for almost two decades. This period of turmoil and violence known as the Anarchy was finally ended by the Compromise of 1153, which recognized Matilda's son, Henry II, as the rightful heir. Henry II became the first king of the Plantagenet dynasty, which ruled England and parts of France for over three centuries. He was also the founder of the Angevin Empire, one of the largest and most powerful medieval states. Henry I's legacy lived on through his descendants, who shaped the history of England and Europe for generations to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to Luxury Freaks for more videos like this. I would love to hear your opinions and suggestions for the next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Luxury Freaks.